Iodine's a curious element because although it's really quite weird in all sorts of ways, we actually take it really for granted. It's something you learn about in school and it's something that many school children will have handled. Many of you watching this video will have played with iodine at some point. And this is in spite of the fact that iodine is one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust. It just so happens that it's very, very easily accessible because of its straightforward chemistry. Where do you get iodine from? Well, iodine was actually discovered originally um, in seaweed. It was found that when you took seaweed and you converted it to charcoal, if you then treated that with sulfuric acid, you got this, this puff of purple vapor. Let me just show you quickly. Here is some iodine. This is the, the element itself. And we've actually got it in the form of these little beads on a watch glass. And you can see that it's got a slightly metallic sheen. One might expect it, and in most of its properties, it behaves like a nonmetal, and yet it looks slightly silvery. There's that grayish color. But wait a second. If we actually put it onto a hot surface and we start to vaporize it, watch what happens. Look at those billowing clouds of purple vapor. And that's the element itself as isolated gas molecules which have that really lovely, lovely color. You might say to me, but wait a second, what about that stuff that they, they rub on my arm when I go for a vaccination, that tincture of iodine? Well, it's very interesting. Here is iodine actually dissolved in alcohol, dissolved in methylated spirits. And you'll see that it's brown. And here is iodine dissolved in a component of petrol, a molecule called uh, toluene. And what we see is that the color changes. Here it's, it's rather closer to the purple we saw before. And what iodine does is it can, it can interact with all sorts of other molecules. And when it does so, its color changes. Now, iodine is an essential trace element. We normally get it through our salt. And in fact, in many countries, um, iodine is actually required to be included in salt as an additive by law. Why is this? Well, this is to prevent a disease which is called goiter or cretinism. And it's a disease which affects the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland needs a constant supply of iodide in order to function properly. And in the absence of that, it swells up. And particularly during childhood, there is then a huge effect on brain development. 